Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, uh, members. I want to thank you for the uh, warm welcome. I also want to thank uh, the Majority Leader, uh, Kevin McCarthy, for all the attention he's given me for the past several weeks. Thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, I am truly honored to be here and to be joined by my mother, Socorro, my brother, Jerry, and my mother-in-law, Sally, and of course, my amazing wife, Mary Hodge. <laughs> my approach to public policy, politics, and government is shaped by the experiences of my family and of my community. As the son of immigrants who believes in this country and everything it promises, I am a living embodiment of that promise. And I have a profound commitment to protecting the rights of immigrants, um, no matter where they are from and no matter what God they worship. I'm also a fighter for universal health care because when I was seven years old, I ended up in the hospital with pneumonia. And that one week stay in the hospital almost bankrupted my family. I also believe that young people from working families should have access to debt-free education because I know from my own personal experience that a high school degree is not always enough, and that's why a higher education can actually transform an individual's life. I believe everyone deserves access to clean air and clean water, and that climate change has exacerbated that challenge. And lastly, I don't believe in the hype and the false divides that progressives can't be for working families and for families from all over America. And to the people of the 34th Congressional District, I know why they sent me to Congress. They want me to fight for our families, our state, and our values. And I will do that every single day, and I won't let them down. Thank you so much. I yield back. Mm -hmm.